We'll be tracking a steady warm up this weekend, already seeing that in the morning hours. Even if it doesn't feel like it, you can see how much warmer these temperatures are, about 20 degrees so than yesterday here across all of the area. But even with this big temperature jump, this is in the morning hours. We're still in those teens and low 20s here. So if you are going to be headed out, make sure you've got those extra heavier layers. If you are going to be out getting your car very early as well, you're going to want to give yourself plenty of extra time to let that heat up. It took me about almost 10 to 15 minutes earlier this morning to get that started here. You really will want to just give it that extra time to get warmed up before you get out on the roads and we are going to be staying in those sub freezing temperatures for the morning, but finally getting a little bit warmer this afternoon, almost all the way to 40 degrees. Most of us will top out in those upper 30s and you can see these wind chills not going to get quite close to that either. We'll really just be feeling like those 30s most of today, so you will not want to lose those layers here, but we're going to continue to follow this steady warm up all weekend long thanks to a lot of sunshine across our area. You can see that on future track into this afternoon. Here's where a lot of our southern counties have that chance to maybe break past that 40 mark, but again, it's still going to be feeling like those 30s with those wind chills today. Now we'll be tracking another maybe minor system here on the way into tonight. You can see that's going to switch those wind directions a couple of times here over the overnight hours. This is those red colors you see moving in is going to be those southerly winds returning. That keeps us warmer overnight. This is by midnight tonight into our Sunday. Most of us will just linger around freezing and hopefully stay there most of the morning. Then you can see going to be tracking a clipper system in here. This is very fast moving. You can see it's not really going to be bringing precipitation. We just have some cloud cover that's going to move in with that and it's going to change those winds up yet again. That's those blue colors following behind that and that will actually continue to steadily cool us down into Sunday by the afternoon, actually colder than we even were overnight back into those low 30s, but not going to get too chilly into Monday morning again. These winds shifting again out of the south here into Monday. This is thanks to multiple systems here. You can even see as that one gets closer to our area by Monday morning, we may just see a slight chance for some snowflakes to the northeast. Not going to be really much to worry about other than just maybe seeing some of those flakes, but definitely those colder temperatures to start off. And then a big warm up going to hit Monday afternoon. We're going to still continue to see wind shifts, though. You can see those blue colors returning to the area right as we're hitting those warmest temperatures. We're going to continue to follow this, see exactly when that wind shift's going to hit, but we may have a chance to even reach 50 degrees before that hits us. And then once those colder, once that colder air moves in, it is going to continue to cool us down yet again midweek. This is thanks to some clippers we're going to be tracking. These are very fast moving systems, these low pressure systems that really dive right out of the north. They usually don't have a lot of moisture, so we won't be tracking precipitation. But again, you can see that track coming out of Canada. That really brings very frigid air into mid-Missouri here, and we'll see those effects by the time we get into midweek. Still this weekend, hovering around those 30s, and then we'll see that warm up on Monday if we can get there to the 50s before that system makes its way in. And then a big cool down midweek. We can drop those temperatures almost 30 degrees into Tuesday and Wednesday back into the 20s, and we will stay dry through all of this, but maybe picking up some more precip chances late week.